everybody, I'm Jason Abelson with your Boxcaster News. And according to TMZ, Oscar De La Hoya's decision this past January to get behind the wheel while a little tipsy may cost him upwards of six months in jail and a $1,000 fine. Of course, don't expect to see Oscar De La Hoya playing basketball in Pelican Bay anytime soon. Rich guys cut deals. So Oscar, after you're done cutting one with the state of California, how about giving K2 a call? Cut one there. And after that, please try to get some help for this DUI problem. I don't want to see you or anyone else getting hurt. And I'm going to fight my urge to shit all over this next story and give it a chance. You know, every great fire starts as a spark. This could be the next huge tire fire in boxing. But Richard Schaefer and Sauerland Promotions are throwing their weight behind something called the World Boxing Super Series. It is a 16-man tournament that will be taking place over 14 separate fight nights featuring fighters from a division that has two divisions yet to be named, at locations that have yet to be named, and fighters that have yet to be named, on any network that has yet to be named. So there's a lot of things up in the air here, but plans are afoot. I'm going to call this a long shot. And not just a Buster Douglas versus Mike Tyson long shot, I'm calling this a Glass Joe versus Mike Tyson type of long shot. But best of luck to all involved. It should be good if it happens. The 5.1 million viewers who tuned in Saturday night to see Keith Thurman down Danny Garcia and unify the WBC and WBA titles have apparently convinced the folks over at CBS and Showtime that Showtime should be moving some more of their fights over to the over-the-air parent network. With Steve Kim talking to Showtime's Steven Espinosa, Espinosa saying, so fights like Thurman and Garcia are harder to make, a little less frequent, and sometimes unpredictable, so that's why we've approached putting fights on CBS on an opportunistic basis. But it may be time for us to consider departing from that strategy and locking in a couple of fights a year. Great idea, this was a great event. Huge audience, hopefully we'll see more on the Big Boy Network in months to come. And in the wake of his shocking stoppage over David Hay, this past Saturday, reigning WBC Cruiserweight Champion Tony Bellew is thinking of staying at heavyweight to face none other than former undisputed heavyweight champion in the world, a man who will be making his comeback this coming May, one Tyson Fury. Now apparently the two have had some stick between each other over the years, with Fury once saying that Tony Bellew was, quote, David Price's homosexual lover. Now, Bellew also posted a photo of Fury recently online and then told the news, I didn't say anything, I just put a picture up. No one's being bright. You asked me, would I fight Tyson? Why wouldn't I? Hmm, ah, uh -huh, interesting. Now, Tyson Fury's dad and trainer Peter Fury told Sky Sports, I think it'd be exciting. It would be a local derby, wouldn't it? It would be good. Boxing gods, I've asked for a few things this year, but you've delivered so much. I've only asked for a couple more things this quarter. One of them is for this fight to happen. I don't care if I'm the only one here that wants to see it. Y'all bunch of haters. Tony Bellew, you deserve this fight. You deserve to make millions. Might lose, probably will. But they were saying that about David Hay too. Go on, Tony Bellew, come on! For all the latest, boxing news and the best features you're gonna find anywhere on the web, click and subscribe to BoxCaster.